Right, this is a review of the Lockwood Essa Ebloy TSA lock. Bought it one of Australia's major hardware chains, probably the biggest one, $10.87. Has an indicator, combination lock. It uh, initially set at 000. zero, zero. Initially held in with two cable ties. That's where you'll see the combination zero 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 when you unpack it. Set it for two fifty six at the moment. Let's look at the top of it. See that notch? The shackle ends up. That's where the TSA people put their key in in America. This one's TSA 007. When they do that, that notch. in there will rotate around 90 degrees anti-clockwise and will allow the shackle to come loose be able to turn it around so then they can open your bag and inspect it in the process of putting their key in this red indicator plastic bit will come up to show you that they have used their key on it in order to gain access to your bag. And that happens when they stick their TSA key in there. On the side here, there's this tiny little button. <coughs> and that button can be used to reset that red indicator. Another slightly more crude method to, uh, you can do is to rotate the shackle, lift it all the way up and then rotate it anti-clockwise the indicator will drop down and you can see that notch a bit better mm. no. so we'll set the combination the lock's made by Lockwood as Abloy Lockwood were I think taken over by Abloy the European brand There's no paper instructions that come with it. This is hard to do one handed. Wrecking box. There's the instructions on the top. So, it's now locked. Good. It's a piece of stainless steel. Put that in there, up to the red mark I've made. So the notch has now moved around to the back. And you can bring the shackle out. That's what the TSA would do to gain access except with a proper key of course Back. Okay. not just back around there you see the indicator is now up so the TSA used the key or somebody used a piece of stainless steel reset that indicator pressing the little button on the side indicators back in 
Anyway, so that's how you operate. The box tells you how to, uh, how to set the combination, but it doesn't tell you about the button on the side for resetting the TSA indicator. Mm. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.